What does she think she is criticizing my kids? They're happy, normal kids. Gracie, stop staring up at the sun. <laughs> Do you know, last night, I found Eduardo in bed with my sister. 20 years I've given that man. Yo no sé qué voy a hacer, ese hombre me está... Lupe, 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 we dealt with your problems last week. Can I get a little support here? <laughs> Meanwhile, that Mueller's got those kids dressed like Huey, Louie, and Dewey. And she's got the nerve to want me to wear a uniform. <laughs> like I'd be caught dead in one of those. <laughs> oh, well, on you guys, it looks great. And I guess those hairy legs are a big hit in Europe, too. Fancy, don't forget the cardinal rule. Never come between a man and his nanny. You won't win. You're right, you're right. I've seen it happen a hundred times. She's after your job. It happened to me. She flew down on a broomstick and just tried to take over. But I wouldn't put up with it. And I went straight to Mr. McKenzie and told him so. But you don't work for the McKenzies. Exactly. <laughs> Since I retire, I traveled the world visiting my children, but I saved the best for last. Oh, no, Nanny Miller, please. Do go on. <laughs> so Maxwell was always your favorite? He was my chubby little cherub. He used to run around the garden without a stitch of clothing on. Run, run, run! Nanny Miller. Oh, you did. You had the cutest bottom like two shiny little cling peaches. <laughs> well, that's more than I've ever wanted to know about, Dad. I am so glad I stayed for dinner. There's something positively delightful about this evening. I can't quite put my finger on it. Where's Miss Fine? Oh, that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. But it's hell finding white shoes in winter. The hat was easy. Howard Johnson's. <laughs> Children, it's not polite to stare. Miss Fine, you, you look like a, a... Nanny. Yes, that's it. I just didn't put it together. I don't want to disturb you. I just thought I'd take my dinner and eat it in the kitchen where I belong. Oh, Miss Fine, please don't be so silly. Come and join us. No, no. The kitchen is where a proper nanny eats. Maggie, shut your mouth. We are not a Pez dispenser. <laughs> Nanny Mueller, it's amazing what you've done with Miss Fine. Oh, that's nothing. I had a schnauzer once that gave me more trouble. <laughs> Nanny, are you comparing Miss Fine to a dog? Not at all. The schnauzer had a pedigree. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. I just need a little salt. Just a pinch. I'll leave the shaker on the table with the family in the dining room. <laughs> Got a little. Mm. In my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can... Miss Fine. Yes, Mr. Sheffield, sir? Take off that uniform. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> Why are you wearing this ridiculous get-up and acting in this ridiculous way? I'm just trying to be the proper nanny. Well, if I wanted a proper nanny, I never would have hired you. Thanks. <laughs> you know what I mean. You're, you're unconventional. You've had no professional training. You look ludicrous in that uniform. When do we get to the good part? <laughs> but, despite the gaps in your resume, the children adore you. You make them very happy. You make us all very happy. I try. So does that mean my job's not in jeopardy? No more than usual. Mm, can I give that Lupe such a zest? <laughs> this Nanny Mueller has turned this household upside down. What am I going to do? Well, this is just off the top of my head, but why don't we run this up a flagpole? Tell her to leave. I can't just turn her out. She raised me, for heaven's sakes. I feel so guilty. Oh, you wouldn't understand. I wouldn't understand guilt. My people invented it. But we made up for it with the salt vaccine and Streisand. 